No, I'm not from Arare. Zimbabwe. No, I'm not Zimbabwean. From where? One Zambia, one nation. Good morning. Good morning from Lusaka, Zambia. So, um, somewhere in a very nice place. As you can see, it looks like a very good neighborhood here in Lusaka, Zambia and I'm going to the city center and today I decided I'm not gonna take a taxi like a private car but I'm gonna take public transport and see how that works for me let's go and let me just bring you along my first day here in Lusaka, Zambia look at that, he's keeping fit interesting way to keep fit, I love it Muribwanji um where do i get the vehicle to go to the city center town. yes to town oh i love how you're working out here oh. it's really nice <laughs> you're trying to keep fit <laughs> yeah um i came to visit my first time in zambia yeah all right have a good day so i go just straight ahead all right thank you lovely place some places the yards are like really maintained super well and i love palm trees it's a lovely house amazing right so beautiful wow and clean i also love the fact that there's actually proper sidewalks as you can see i'm able to walk with ease without struggling with the vehicles Looks like one of those old, old neighborhoods though. Like it was built maybe more than 20 years ago. Hi, is that the place where I'll get the vehicles to the city center? Yes. That the end of that road? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Excuse me. Is this where we're gonna get a vehicle to the city center? On the other side. Oh, so I cross over to that side? Yes. Oh, thank you. Are you going to the city center? Yeah. Okay. Where do I sit? When I say follow me, can I be Sorry. Yani, sister, what's up with you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The van just left us, 
Well, so I just got to the I just got to the bus terminals. I lighted somewhere around here. So I'm trying to find my way around to the city center. So I've just put city center on my Google map and that's where I'm heading. One thing I'm noticing about this area is that there's just a lot of men. Ah, and barely do you see women. Lusaka women, where do they go? I mean, they don't come to this side of town or what? Let's keep walking and let's see. Maybe we might spot one or two. Lusaka is the capital center and the biggest city in Zambia and its population as of last year it was actually approximated to be about 3.5 million people just here in Lusaka. Out of the bus terminals I'm going to get something to eat so I'm trying to go to the city center and first things first I'm so hungry I want to go get some food let's go I see kwacha house ahead I hope to get some kwachas there free kwachas <laughs> Yes. You want to interview? Yes. Come. <laughs> you want to interview for what? For politics. What politics? <laughs> what about politics? <laughs> you? Yeah. You, you mean what? When I write, I When you write. Okay, I'm looking for a restaurant, a nice restaurant around here. Restaurant? You're yeah. from Marare? No, I'm not from Marare. Zimbabwe? No, I'm not Zimbabwean. From where? But I can be Zimbabwean for today. Let's say I'm Zimbabwean. Okay, you're looking for a restaurant? <laughs> yeah. Maybe there's a takeaway there. I'll be Zimbabwean. No, I don't want takeaway. I want like, that has like really local food. Local food? Yeah. Okay. You go behind and then you find the... Behind where? This side? This side, yes. Okay. Then you find where there are some apples and fruits there, then just uh, stretch. Okay. Thank yeah. you. What's your name? David. David. Yes. Okay. Thank you, David. Cheers, cheers. Have a good one. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So, Kwacha House, I've been told there's a restaurant on the other side. Let's go. Oh, so they think I'm Zimbabwean, yeah. I can be Zimbabwean, you know. <laughs> that was interesting. A few meters from where I alighted, um, we are now approaching Cairo Street. And as you can see, even the environment and the organization, like this place looks more organized compared to where I alighted. And Cairo Street is a very important street. But for now, let's look for food. And then I'm going to tell you the importance of Cairo Street or why this place is popular here in Lusaka, Zambia. Okay, see it when I don't see the food.
if I'm not wrong, this is the direction. Let's see if we can get something. Where's the rest? Here we are on the main street of city center, Lusaka, not very far from where the bus left me. Uh, so I actually paid just 15. I only paid 15 kwacha, which is like one dollar to the city center. So let's take a walk in the main street of Lusaka, Zambia. Let's hear the sights and sounds of the main street of Lusaka, Zambia. Cairo Street. Hmm, there's actually a place to walk at the center of the road. The first buildings of Lusaka city were actually built along this Cairo road by the British settlers. You will notice that most of the buildings or a good number of buildings in this street are actually all designs and you can of course tell that they were built uh, several years ago. So today being my first day here in Lusaka, I think it's very interesting to walk around and immerse myself in the local life. There's a lot of business that goes on in this street. So let's immerse ourselves in the main street of Lusaka, Zambia, Cairo Street. This being a very hot season, I'm told it is summer right now. I just appreciate the fact that these trees give you a shade. Otherwise, if there were not these trees on this pedestrian walk, would all be melting. It's not surprising to see someone resting here because you can see it's really calm and the trees give a good shade for anyone who's gonna be under these trees. I'm not very sure about the meaning of Lusaka but I know this is the second Lusaka is the second capital city of Zambia. The first capital city was actually in Livingstone. You know, during the colonial time, this region was controlled by the British South African Company. So they felt that they needed somewhere that was more center as a capital city, like somewhere that was more central. And that is how the capital city ended up being moved from Livingstone to somewhere more central, which is where we are right now in Lusaka, Zambia. That happened in 1929. So the British Southern African Company built a railway linking their mines in the Copper Belt to Cape Town and Lusaka was designated as a water stop on that line and it is named after a local Lenje chief called Lusaka. Lenje is an ethnic group here in Zambia. Let me cross. Let me just go back here. I don't think I can do that. Oh.
still on Cairo Street. As I had promised, I'm going to tell you about Cairo Road and the importance of this road. Well, Cairo Road is the main road of Lusaka, Zambia, and it is 1.8 kilometers long and it runs from the north to the south. So this particular road, it's a section of what is called the Great North Road. I think most of you have heard about the Cape to Cairo. You know, this was actually during the colonial times, Cecil Rhodes, who was like really in charge of this region, he had this dream of building a road from Cape to Cairo. And now in Zambia, here in Lusaka, Cairo Road is actually part of that section of the Great North Road. If you don't know who Cecil Rhodes is, I think you've heard before some regions in Southern Africa called Southern Rhodesia and Zambia, Malawi, they were part of the Northern Rhodesia. He basically was a colonizer who took over these areas and named them after himself, Rhodes, Rhodesia. So he had this dream of building a road from Cape to Cairo through the British colonies in Africa. So that road would have come from South Africa, Zimbabwe, um, Zambia, all the way to Kenya, like all the British colonies, and the road would be called the Great North Road. I hope that makes sense. So I'm going off Cairo Road to Dar es Salaam Road. Oh yeah, so that's the Lusaka post office. I have noticed that uh, most of the streets here in Lusaka are named after African heroes. I've seen names like Hele Silase and Kenneth Kaunda. I've also seen streets being named after capital cities or other cities in African countries. For instance, we are in Dar es Salaam, but now let's get back to Cairo Street. So uh, I've seen a restaurant. Yeah, so um, I see a restaurant. It's called Hungry Lion. But guess who's hungry right now? It's African Tigress. So Hungry Tigress. This is the restaurant. So oh god, they look like fast food. I'm not really into fast food. But let me get some fresh juice if they have some. This one gives me KFC vibes. Now let's enjoy the sights and sounds, the raw and filtered experience in the streets of Lusaka, Zambia in 2022 August. Thank 
to see so this place is called Nairobi place interesting so I'm home Nairobi place So ahead we have the Kenneth Kaunda house. Kenneth Kaunda was the first president of Zambia.
Is this a restaurant? Yeah. Good. So for myself a restaurant. Hi. When I mean said I can order the shawarma or do I order from out here? From inside, okay. Alright. Hi. May I see the food you cook? Yeah. Fish, uh, chicken, more chicken. What's this? Pork huh? Pork and that? T-bone. Okay, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it. So I'm gonna have tamarind juice, ukwa juice, it's always one of my favorites, especially the natural one, with shawarma. The shawarma was nice. Oh, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, okay. I appreciate it. Okay. I'll definitely come back. <laughs> So I just came from having my shawarma and guess who I met? I met this gentleman here. Hi, 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 <laughs> hi people. Hi. What's hi. your name? My name is Israel Mukanzo. Uh-huh. I'm an IT engineer. Okay, so I met Israel and apparently he said I looked so familiar. He's seen my channel before he saw some of my videos in Ghana and now he's offered to show me around so uh -huh. Findeco, Zanaco, Indeco. Findeco, 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 Zanaco, Indeco. The, the top three. Okay. I think you should come and visit our church. <laughs> I'll try. Yeah, storytelling sessions because they're saying at least them lengi one where we are molding the, the young people to steal. Uh, he was chained up and when the British soldiers actually wanted to arrest him, he managed to break the chains. So that actually became a symbol for the struggle for independence by breaking the chains. One Zambia, one nation.